People, my people, thank you to the beautiful people that are subscribing and following in ever growing numbers because these are the people who are in that giveaway. I know, I can tell. Now, I will give you my final vodka review for 2022. You'll get, yeah, okay, it's my last year given this precisely um, three. This And this one included there was Rahasia, which it was. Um, then there was my friend uh, Mix from Imbue, the uh, Sunflower Vodka. Now, I'm going to go to a town that's better known for both grapes and four pillars and it's Hillsville and when I read this baby yesterday realizing that this watch is actually out of Hillsville I went hmm okay I've been trying to get hold of these guys um alchemy distilling in Hillsville um is made of citrus vodka now they have according to the write-up they've worked in a truckload of lemons and limes and lemon myrtle so let's hear the sound of happiness The smell of happiness is the citrus just jumps out of the bottle at me. Um, mixing up my glass tonight, mainly because I don't want to get too cut. I do have another source of income. Or actually, I do have a source of income. And I'm going to be spending tomorrow doing it. And I, as much as I want to tell tonight, because it's been quite a warm day at Melbourne, um, I'm not going to. I shall be a good boy. I promise. Stop laughing. The smell of happiness is, yeah, that's a lot of citrus. No, it's eight times distilled um, alcohol, so they're really jacked up with purity. The water source, um, assuming they get it from the same source as what Four Pillars does, is practically pure. Melbourne has amongst the best tap water in the planet because we come, we have, our water comes from close catchments, so people just aren't allowed in there. So there's no camping, there's no logging, there's no foresting. The worst that might get into this um, is a bit of deer shit, to be honest with you, a bit of kangaroo crap. Um, so the water is really pure, and I've distilled this baby eight times. Oh, yeah. There is absolutely no doubting that these guys have really um, picked up basically a lemon tree and beaten the still with it repeatedly in a, in a very harsh fashion. It's very big on the citrus. So, vodka is best drunk ice cold. Um, my vodka is not ice cold because I decided to do this review on a spare moment. Having said that, I can make ice cold vodka by simply adding ice water, so ice cube, to this baby. So, I'm going to pour a little bit more of this. Second sound of happiness. And we are going to chill this baby down. Now, my bet is, is that um, a citrus vodka is going to be an absolutely wicked way to go dealing with a um, rather unpleasant day. Having said that, we also make um, <clears throat> the perfect basis for a Moscow mule, which is basically vodka plus lemon juice or vodka plus lime juice. Look, this has got lemons and limes and lemon metal in it, so the citrus flavour is going to truly up and running before. So, okay, that's now nice and cold. I'm not having tonic with this baby. Um, so by the fact I actually drank it last night with a tonic and it was really good. Delicious. I drank it with uh, Strange Love Coastal. So big on the citrus. Oh yeah. This is really, really big on the citrus. Um, it's right up there with uh, Four Pillars Yuzu. Um, I'm thinking what else would be equally big. YOLO from Tiny Bear. Um, Coastal Citrus would be another, from Manly Spirits would be another comparison. Um, yeah, and they're gins. Um, this baby is just, will be the absolute to die for basis of a Moscow mule um, or 
you get a whole lot of shaved eyes. Um, whack this baby in, give it a stir, and pff, your cares and worries are just going to pull a run for the door. It's as simple as that. It's really neat. It's really incredibly smooth. Um, Mm. Yeah, it's a very smooth 40% per volume, and I will check that by putting my eyes on. Um, yep, uh, it, it, I'm here to lemon, it's got grain alcohol, wheat, and barley, filtered water, lemon, lime, and lemon myrtle. So, one, two, three, four, five ingredients. And it's basically delicious. Um, it's from Alchemy, which is actually in Hillsville itself. Four Pillars yeah. is on the, just off the of Marinda Highway, just outside it. 242 Marinda Highway, Hillsville. Um, it set me back up about $67. It wasn't that expensive. I got it from Michael Dan Murphy. But, you know, if you're going to do, do a... Um, alcohol crawl up into the you know, Yarra Valley and you've had enough wine um, I'm told reliably a lot of the um, wine tours end at Four Pillars because Four Pillars these days you go there as much for the experience as what you do there for first rate gin you may as well tack um, Alchemy on if they're open um, and there'll be a link to the website in the write up so thank you very much and because this is the final um, review of the year not only, not only the final Volker review Thanks for watching, thanks for being my subscribers and followers, and stay tuned next year, as always, as we like to say, it's going to be bigger, better, more gin, more, more of everything. Um, stay tuned, and if you subscribe or follow, you're in for that giveaway. But thanks for being my people, my people, all year, and I'll be around for next. Just go off and be naughty, it's that time of year. Catch ya.